Hey guys, in this Flutter tutorial, we are going to learn how to create an alphabetic scroll view in Flutter. So let's get started. So you can see over here, a demo app has been created. So it has an example of showing a country list in the alphabetic order. So you can see the user can navigate to any uh, country item or country name as per his need by just scrolling on this alphabet. You can see over here, you can see if you want to go to Y, Z, he can just scroll his cursor or his finger over here and the list will get updated as per his uh, alphabet that he has selected so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to implement this in our flutter application so let's get started so now we are in our android studio ide and here is a flutter project being opened and you can see i have a main dot dot page over here and it has a stateful widget with a scaffold widget in it and an empty container for now okay so to show a alphabetic scroll view in flutter we are going to make use of a library called as a to z list view so you just need to add it in pub specification.yaml file under dependency section over here and after adding this library just hit this pub get button so that the library get uh, downloaded in your flutter project as an external library okay so now you to use this you just need to import it wherever required so let me import it over here import a z list view okay so here uh, in my home page i want to show a country list with the alphabetic scroll view so we need to create a class with a constructor uh, that can hold the country name okay so these are the country list that i have just got from the google okay so we are going to show this list in our uh, list view in an alphabetic order okay so here uh, first of all let's create a class a dart file and I will just name it as country list okay so here dot class dot page has been created so here let's create a class and the class name will be as I said it is a country list that extends uh, expansion uh, I expansion that comes with uh, the library that we have that we are going to make use of that is az list view okay so here we ne just need to import the missing overriding function so just import it okay so here we need to create a constructor for this class so here uh, let's accept two parameters final string first one is a title that is a country name full name and second one is also a string that will be just a tag the tag in the sense uh, the alphabets letters of our country name okay so first letter of our uh, country name okay so here create a constructor so you can just generate it like this or you can just type the code okay and this two are required so i will do what i will do i will just wrap it with a flower bracket and make this as required property okay so our class has been created with the constructor in it okay and now let's import it over here so import country okay so now let me create one more stateful widget so stateful widget and i will just name it as alphabet list view okay and then here instead of this con container i will just call this class okay and now this class that is stateful widget will accept one parameter that is a list of items uh, will be accepted by this stateful widget class okay so here we must accept one parameter okay so here final list which will be of type string item so we'll just name it as items for now and let's initialize it in this constructor we require this dot item okay and now we need to pass this item to this class from here okay so here i have created a list of string that is a country name so we'll just copy this thing so it is a use list up to a to z okay so here what i will do is i will just pass this items in the form of array okay so now we have uh, items in this class passed from this function okay to this uh, constructor so now we need to initialize it with this class that we have created so that we can make use of it in our uh, code okay so here list which will be of type country list items okay so it will be empty at the beginning 
and inside init state as soon as our app starts we need to initialize this item with this list of item that has been passed okay so here let me create one more function and the function i will just create as void init list okay so this function will accept list of items that is strings okay and then this dot item is equal to so this dot item in the sense this one items that has been passed to this function this dot map country list title and tag so the title will be a item that is this one item and the tag will be first letter of our country name that is a a and that b and everything will be the tag okay so here item of index 0 okay so this whole thing will be converted to to list like this okay so we have uh, successfully initialized our item that has been passed uh, to this function alphabet class okay so all we need to do is we just need to show this item in our list of view okay so here let me create a list view so here instead of normal list view we are going to make use of uh, a to z list view that has been provided by this uh, dependency so here a to z list view so here there are three uh, parameters that we need to pass to this function or the widget okay so first one is the data that is our item so here items we need to pass item count so the item count will be items dot length dot length and the item builder is the widget that will be shown as a list of items so here context and index okay and here return card child so the child will be list tell and in the list tell we are going to make use of title property with a text widget in it so item so here we need to pass the item that has been generated so here what we need to do is we just need to initialize a variable that is the first item item is equal to item of index okay so this function will iterate again and again until this length is been initialized means and at, at the end of the list uh, this item will be generated each time in the in the form of loop and it will be passed to this function and the list of item will be created so here we have a item that we want to show in a text form do this item dot title okay so let me refresh hot restart so let's check if hot restart is working okay so the hot restart is not working so let me hot stop and restart the app okay so app got restarted but the list has not been shown that is because i've just forgot to initialize our list of items okay so over here i need to call this function and pass the list of items to this function as soon as our app launches so here list initialize list and we are going to pass our widget dot item okay so here uh, this class will receive the list of uh, items for as an array and we need to convert it into country list so to convert it into country list we are going to pass this uh, received item to this function so that it can be converted to list and the item will be shown so now if i hot refresh again let's wait so you can see our list of items has been shown over here so the user can navigate to any alphabet by just crawling something like this okay, so here i am just getting an error so let me check what is an error okay so the issue has been solved that is the alphabet was not getting to particular point that is because in the constructor that is our country list in this uh, get suspension tag i have just forgot to add return this tag okay so initially i have just kept it something like this so you just need to return tag over here like this and it will work so you can see if i hot refresh 
the user can navigate to any alphabet just by scrolling this list of items okay so thanks for watching this tutorial uh, please do subscribe protocol as point thank you